What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Sega Mark III. Now this was released in Japan in 1985, later went to South Korea and Taiwan. Unfortunately, never made it out of Asia, but it did form the base of the Sega Master System. Most of the games that were released on the Mark III did come to the Sega Master System. They used different cartridge sizes, but since this is its own separate console, I figured it deserves a place in our LaunchBox collection. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one. So for the Sega Mark III, we're going to be using RetroArch and a core called Genesis Plus GX. If you don't already have RetroArch configured for your LaunchBox setup, I have created a full tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. So first up, we're going to need some games. I have a folder on my desktop called Sega Mark III. This is a separate ROM collection from the Master System. I've just left all of my games zipped, but you could extract them if you'd like to. I'm going to open up my LaunchBox installation directory games and I'm just going to place this folder right in here for easy access. They're already in my LaunchBox folder now and if I ever want to transfer my full LaunchBox collection over they will stay with it. We're going to back up once now we need to launch RetroArch so we can download the core we're going to use. Emulators, RetroArch, we're going to start it right up. From the main menu we're going to scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and from within here, we want to find Genesis Plus GX. We're going to download the core. It's going to extract. We can now close RetroArch. So let's head back over to LaunchBox. We're going to set up the emulator and then we'll import our games. Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. All the way at the bottom, I've created a new section called Sega Mark III, and I've selected the Genesis Plus GX Core here. You can use the drop-down menu. Make sure we have Default Emulator checked, and click OK. Now it's time to import our games. Tools, Import, ROM Files. I'm going to click on Add Folder, and we're going to navigate to where we place the Sega Mark III folder inside of my games directory. We're just going to choose this folder, click OK, LaunchBox is going to sort it out for us. Click Next. Unfortunately, as of making this video, there is no Sega Mark III platform, but we can make our own. We're going to scrape as Sega Master System. Click Next. We'll be using RetroArch. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. If they're somewhere else on your PC, you may want to copy the files into the LaunchBox Games folder. Mine are already there, so we'll click Next. I do want to download as much information and box art as I can. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Sega Mark III, so we'll click Next. Here's the name of the game the file location, and the extension. Like I said, I left mine zipped. We'll click Finish. LaunchBox is going to now download all of the metadata and box art for us. Give it a little while to finish up. My Mark III games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. We can now find the option over here on the left-hand side. And as you can see, some of the carts will look like the Sega Master System, but since I used EMU movies, there are a few games that weren't released on the Master System with the correct cart art for the Mark III. So all that's left to do, start playing our games. I'm going to go with Black Belt. And we now have our Sega Mark III collection up and running inside a launch box. I'm just using an Xbox controller here. D-pad for movement. There was only two buttons on the Sega Mark III controller.
So that's it for this video. We really appreciate you watching, and I hope you have Sega Mark III imported into your LaunchBox collection. Since it's its own system, I figured I'd go ahead and make a dedicated video. If you have any questions at all, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.